I'm Teacher Mike, and today we're learning basic English for elections and voting. First, we're going to learn some of the basic vocabulary that you need in order to talk about elections and voting, and then I'm going to give you 10 questions that you can use in real conversations. And we're going to start by talking about the word vote. You probably already know that you can say things like, are you going to vote in the upcoming election? Or, who do you think you're going to vote for? However, there are also two ways that we can use it as a noun. First, vote can mean an event, where people choose someone or something by voting. For example, the vote will take place next week. When we use it this way, it's very similar to the word election. However, whereas vote just means an event where people choose someone or something by voting, election usually describes a bigger and more formal process by which people select a leader or make other important decisions. The word election also includes all of the other things that happen before and during the voting process. For example, Things like debates and campaigning. Campaigning is when candidates, the people who you can vote for, talk about their ideas and tell you why you should vote for them. And debates are the events where candidates talk about their ideas on stage with the other candidates. So when you're talking about people voting for the next president of a country, you can call that a vote, but we usually call it an election. But if you're with your friends and you say, raise your hand if you want to have Mexican food for dinner, that is not an election. That is just a vote. Each time that one person votes for something, that is also called a vote. For example, she received 10,000 votes. Or, they haven't finished counting the votes yet. So those are the two ways that we can use vote as a noun. It can mean an event where people vote, and it can also mean each time that one person votes. When a country has an election, we can use the verb have, but we also often use the verb hold. For example, the United States has a presidential election every four years. You can say that, or you can say the United States holds a presidential election every four years. Next, we have run for office, which basically describes the process of trying to win an election and get a position in the government. However, run for office is not specific about which position that person is trying to get. So if we want to be more specific, we can say the position instead of the word office. For example, Kamala Harris is currently running for president of the United States. Or a past tense example, John McCain ran for president in 2008. And, as I mentioned earlier, the people who run for office are called candidates. Also, some people say candidate, and some people say candidate. Candidate is a bit more common in the UK, and candidate is a bit more common in the US. However, both are used and understood in both countries. And in many countries, instead of voting for a candidate, you might vote for a group. And those groups are called political parties, or just parties. For example, the two main parties in the United States are the Democratic Party and the Republican Party. Both candidates and parties usually have something called a platform. A platform is basically a combination of beliefs, goals, ideas, and promises. For example, one party or candidate might have a platform that focuses on creating jobs and making healthcare more affordable. 
Another might have a platform that focuses more on education and public safety. Also, these things that people care about are usually called issues. For example, three of the key issues in the 2024 U.S. presidential election are the economy, healthcare, and immigration. If a candidate wins an election, we can also say that they have been elected. Elect is a verb, which in this context means to choose someone via an election. For example, Donald Trump was elected president in 2016. Or, in 2011, Thailand elected its first female prime minister. Also, when you vote in an election, you often use something called a ballot. Ballots are the pieces of paper that you make your selections on. And the place where you do this is called a polling place. When you fill out your ballot and give it to the person at the polling place, you can say that you are voting or you can say that you are casting your ballot. Cast is a verb which is very similar to send. However, we only use it in specific situations. For example, the fisherman cast his line. The witch cast a spell. Or the tree cast a shadow over the garden. And when talking about the results of an election, we often use the verbs win and lose. For example, Joe Biden won the 2020 presidential election, and Donald Trump lost the 2020 presidential election. And finally, here are 10 questions that you can use to ask other people about elections in their countries. How often does your country hold elections? Do you usually vote in the elections? Are you going to vote in the upcoming election? Are there any issues that are important to you in this election? What do you think about the candidates? Do you know who you're going to vote for? Which party do you usually vote for? Did you vote in the previous election? Do you mind if I ask who you voted for? How do you feel about the results of the election? Now, find a friend or family member who is also learning English, have them watch this video, and then practice asking and answering those 10 questions with them. Or if you just want to practice writing, please feel free to try answering some of those questions in the comments.